Today I'm going to be trying to put my husband's gift together. I just got one of the last items for his Father's Day gift. I've been slowly buying everything for Father's Day just so it kind of be a little bit easier to not have to spend all this money at one time. And I'm so glad I did because I've bought everything either from a local business or a small business in general and then offhand. Uh, people that were just selling items offhand, and I just got this one in today, which I think he's gonna be just super excited about. This might be his favorite uh, one that he gets. I got this off of Mercury, and it's the Ash versus Evil Dead, and as you can see, it's holographic, and I am so freaking excited about this because the person I bought it secondhand from, as you can see, it's never been open. It's never been open. Like, that's so amazing. And this is one of the ashes that he's missing. So he has his own little collection over there where I actually have my horror stuff over there too because it's like a little horror collection. And it's just, it's amazing. But he doesn't have this ash yet. So he's been looking for this ash for so long. And I finally found it from a secondhand seller who's never opened it. And I was so excited. And it came in today. And it looks so amazing. And I was kind of nervous to buy from a secondhand seller, but I am so glad I did. It worked out amazing. Like I said, this box never been open. It's in pristine condition. It's got no kind of dents in it or anything. Like the person who shipped it must have really, really cared for this box. And I'm so glad that they did because now my husband is going to love and care for this ash so much and probably never get rid of it, which I'm, I'm happy about. So I'm gonna put that one at the bottom because I know he's gonna love that one so much. And if you're wondering what that figure is from, it is from NECA, but I didn't get it from the NECA store. Like I said, I bought it secondhand off of Mercury, which actually uh, tested buying some other stuff off of Mercury before, and it's everything I've bought so far off of Mercury has been absolutely amazing. So I would highly recommend if you ever thought about buying from Mercury to, uh, you know, just dive in and do it. So then I also got him this, which was also from a secondhand seller. It's Tales from the Crypt. I'm not entirely sure which uh, volume this ends in and it's got like a little bit of wear to it I don't know if you can see where the V is it is a little dirty it's got like a tiny little bit of wear to it but it's nothing that's like too bad so that's good but um yeah just Tales from the Crypt the back is gonna say 176 from eBay, but I did not buy it from eBay, and I also did not buy it for $176. So I don't know what that is about, but yeah, there is that. Um, so I'm gonna put that to the side because I'm gonna put all of that on top of his makeup figure, and then I also got him this, which is uh, Shadow of the Bat. I got him all six volumes. If there's more volumes. Um, I did not get them for him because I didn't know about it, but look, look at that, look at that bad boy, right there, and the back is actually Stallone and Wesley Snipes, which is so funny because we love Wesley Snipes so much, he's a great actor, so this, oh, this is part eight, it says, did I get them all eight or all six, I'm not entirely sure, oh, hi there! I hope you're doing well. I'm just um, showing off what I bought my husband so far for Father's Day. This all says, this all says part eight. I'm a little confused. Now, part one of two, part eight. I could have sworn I bought one through six, but maybe I was wrong. This one says part one. Maybe these are all just different. Shadow of the Bats, because this is part two of three. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, see, I goofed up here. <laughs> I, um, uh, I thought I was buying the collection of one through six, but these are just different Shadow of the Bat 
ones all together. None of these are, doesn't look like they're entirely together, which is fine, I think. Um, I mean, he'll, I should still be happy with it. Not exactly what I wanted, but I guess I should have read the description more clearly. I also got these secondhand. Uh, these are really, really nice. I think this one looks like it's got a little bit of wear to it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I think it looks really good still. And I think he's going to like it a lot because he's a huge Batman fan. So I'm put that one to the side too because I'm trying to figure out which one I want to put on top first. And then I got this one from one of the local comic book stores. It's just a different comic we've never read before and he really likes horror so I thought it'd be interesting. And it's volume one and it's called A Town Called Terror. Um, I hope he likes it. I have no idea. I haven't read this before. I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to try out a new comic. And it wasn't that expensive, so I figured, you know, if he doesn't like it, it's not that much of, you know, bad. So I'm not, I think I'm going to put that one on top, so he has that. And I actually got this for him as well. It's just a 50 cent comic, but that'd be really nice because, like I said, he really likes horror stuff. And it says, Just Buried. It's Vampirella and Dracula, so I thought that was really cute. And then I got him this, but he ended up finding it a different day and bought it for himself as well. So now we just have two of them. It's Army of Darkness versus the Reanimator. It's another 50 cent comic. So it's nothing like super fancy, but it's really nice. And they have different covers for it as well. And like I said, they're all 50 cents. So I think that's really nice too. Um... You know, they make different kinds of 50 cent comics, but I liked this one a lot. I think I was going to try to get the boys one if I could find it. So, here is that. Yeah, see, they have uh, the boys because I really like the boys. I'm actually watching season three right now. So, don't spoil anything for me, people, because I am currently watching it. I'm only on episode two right now, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I love the boys so much. And then I found this just completely on accident. And um, I'm, I'm really surprised. It's uh, Freddy's son versus Ash or something like that. I'm actually going to open it to tell you the exact thing. I was just looking for like in the S for some reason. And I don't really look at the S a lot. But it's the King... Horror Returns, and it just has Ash from what looks like to be the Army of Darkness Ash, but like before Ash vs. Evil Dead, and I thought it looked really, really nice, and like I said, he really likes Ash a lot, and we are huge, huge fans of the Evil Dead series. We're actually playing the new Evil Dead game, so if you've seen me stream the new Evil Dead game, that is why. I'm not always streaming when I'm playing, by the way. I'm mainly playing off stream, but this is that. So I'm trying to figure out what I should put <laughs> on top. Because like I said, I got the Ash vs. Evil Dead NECA figure for him. So I think um, because he already bought this for himself, this doesn't really need to go in there anymore. I'm probably just going to put this um, somewhere else. Uh, I also got him the Marvel vs. Zombie Army of Darkness comics. And um, I already gave it to him because I was too excited about it. And then I gave him a Toxic Avenger comic book already because I was too excited about it. So um, I actually got some Father's Day gifts a little early just because I was super excited to give them to him. How is the game? It's so good! I would say that a lot of people um, compare it to Dead by Daylight, but... Um, no hate on me. I'm not a super big fan of Dead by Daylight, and I would say that this game is definitely harder if, uh, you're going to plan on buying it. I highly, highly recommend, but I would also highly recommend turning off the crossplay right now because the Xbox people haven't got a glitch fixed yet, so they're able to do, uh, more damage right now than they're supposed to, and it doesn't make the game as much fun so until that 
glitch gets fixed for Xbox users, I would probably turn off crossplay. But it's really, really fun. Uh, <laughs> I would also say it's also kind of enraging at times because it is a team, team survival game. But I think a lot of people forget that it's team based. So people, it kind of just depends on who you get paired up with, if the game goes well or not. But if you find people that are good, just add them as a friend on the game because you can do that and just try to play with them. That's what I do, and I, I'm having a lot of fun on there now. But when I first started playing, it was really, really enraging. And we still have really bad matches sometimes because somebody will just do something that will uh, show the demon where we are really early on for no reason. And uh, yeah. So I think it's really fun. Just do the tutorial, turn off crossplay until the Xbox people get their glitch fixed. I don't know why it didn't work when they patched it for Xbox, but it didn't. And, uh, you know, just try to enjoy yourself. And if you get really, really mad, just do the solo missions <laughs> for a little bit. Um, also, I haven't played as the demon yet, so I don't know if it's fun playing as the demon. I, I mainly play the support characters. I really like support characters in every game, but I think the game is really fun. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> oh yeah, um, sorry, I just kind of totally rambled at you. I just, really fun game. So I got the Ash vs. Evil Dead, so that's going to be at the very bottom because I feel like that's going to be his favorite, and I'm going to kind of like put stuff in between on top of it to see like where to go from there. I think I'm going to put Shadow of the Bat on top just because it's not like entirely all together, but I know he's going to like it still. So actually, this is so funny. I'm pretty sure I have this one. <laughs> like I'm 99% sure I own this one. So <laughs> I think I own this one. I I didn't I don't know why I rebought this one, but it came as a bundle because I'm pretty sure I own this currently, like in my um Nightwing collection. Because I have like a Robin collection, which I actually just bought new comics for myself for. I got the DC versus Vampires, which is Robin, and then just the Robins, which has all of the Robins, except for the girl Robins for some reason. It doesn't look like it has any of the girl robins in there but uh i mean that's okay we just got nightwing and red hood so my my favorite personally is nightwing anyways so that's okay but i gotta put those on my nightwing collection which is right under my spider-man versus like venom collection i'm actually running out of room on my side of the stuff that i love because I got two things of just Harry Potter, which is really nice, because I really, really love Harry Potter. And then I got, like, a bunch of One Piece stuff. And then the very bottom on this is comics and books. And then to the right is, like, my Dragon Ball, Spider-Man, and Venom. Well, actually, like, my whole Venom corner, because I have, like, a big poster and everything right here. That um, If you see my YouTube channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then I have Dragon Ball stuff, and I just got a new Bulma. And I actually haven't put Nami with the One Piece yet because I just got this Nami. But I need to buy <laughs> another shelf because I'm running out of space and I need somewhere to put my Hunter Hunter pin because he's just on my desk right now because Hunter Hunter is my favorite anime of all time. And then I have Genshin Impact um, things over here as well that I have nowhere to put. Because, um, I'm out of shelf room right now. So I need to buy another shelf to put right here and move my, um, six foot Bane cardboard cutout. Because I have a six foot Bane cardboard cutout. Why? Because I love Bane. Dumb question. I just dropped my comic book because I'm running out of space on my room, on my desk. Okay, so, um, we got the Ash vs. Evil Dead. NECA figure at the bottom, and I'm going to put the Shadow of the Bat. No, I want to put that on top. Duh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just get talking. I forget what I'm talking about sometimes. I'm going to put the Ash comic on top. So I think that'd be a really good idea. Oh no, this box isn't big enough. <gasps> this changes 
everything. I have to get a different box. I have a different box, but I thought that this box was going to be big enough. Oh no. Bye. No, I just told me bye. That's okay. Um, hold on. Wow. Wow. Oh no. I, I really thought that box was going to be big enough. Uh, this box should be bigger. I am not I haven't been throwing any boxes away, just in case this happened. Also, because I've been also, uh, like, I'm a, I'm a really weird person when it comes to boxes. Like, my new Bulma that I just got, these kinds of boxes, I will forever keep for when I move and stuff. They, uh, they kind of just hoard in my closet until I move and things. Because I really like the boxes for one and for two. I want to be able to put my figures somewhere back where they're going to be safe when I move. So I keep all of these boxes. So I'm a little bit weird when it comes to boxes. But I just got this one the other day from when I bought something else online secondhand. I can't remember what it's right now. Quite a month ago. Probably real good. What are you doing? Can I have that back, please? My daughter said she wants to read the comics now, too. Okay, I'm gonna show this off one more time. Ah! I love him! It's so amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on top. Y'all can't see my address, right? I'm gonna hope I didn't just accidentally dox myself. <laughs> Then the shadow of the bat, because I think that's gonna be good. Can I can I have that? My daughter took the other one. Hold on. Hey! Can you get that back, please? Oh no! Oh, thank you. Oh, I was wondering where my Loki coloring book went. Found it. My daughter had it. I guess she really likes Loki now. Can't blame her. I guess I taught her well. <laughs> uh, we love Loki. You can come hang out. You can come hang out. You can help me. One, two, three. Look. Oh. Whoa. What's that? Yeah. Is that you? She accidentally took the phone picture out. Oh, it's a little scary, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's just slide them back in and pretend like it never happened. She is messing with the light. <laughs> Man, life with the toddler is never boring. <laughs> that is for sure. Baby, you're moving the camera. Can you not do that, please? Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to slide this back in. I don't want to bend it on accident. There we go. Once you uh, find the nice spot, it goes in nicely. I always love that. But... Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we get the shadow of the bat on top of that. And I think I'm going to put... Thank you. Don't mess up the 3D printer stuff. <laughs> My daughter says she's just going to do chaos today. She's choosing chaos today. Okay, so I think on top of that I'm gonna do a town called Terror because it's new and I want to put something newer on top. And then I'm going to put on Holy on top of that the 50 cent comic. So, thank you. Yes, that's gone. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Oh, you tell him hi? Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so then last but not least, I'm putting Tales of the Crypt on top of all of that. Which is, um, I realize it's a lot that I'm giving him this year, but I finally have a job again, so I'm really excited. So I'm trying to spoil my husband a little bit. And this is not the end of it either. So I have more comics that I bought secondhand. If this would be coming in the mail, so any of the Batman ones or any horror ones, I'm going to be giving to him. So, uh, I bought like a mystery box to see how it goes. I thought it'd be really interesting to buy like a secondhand mystery box and unbox it live with you guys. 
and then put on my YouTube later for the people that missed the video. But that's it for this one. I just want to say thank you for joining. And um, this Sunday I'm going to be doing an IRL stream at a Funko Pop store. Uh, the owner is really, really nice. And they have this amazing mural that I really want to show off. So yeah, I can't wait to do that. That's going to be at, I think I said 1. I'm pretty sure I said 1. Um, I don't have my schedule in front of me right now. But just uh, stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>